why finding loads it's really hard for the box truck owners Hello everybody. Why we pick this box truck market or niche market specifically? Because we see people and our students asking about this specific market. It's really hard to find loads for box truck and obviously for the flatbed hotshot. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. So when I talk about box truck, guys, this is what I mean. So there are different sizes, they're in different shapes. Obviously, this is the box truck. And again, this is the hotshot. So this is where I specialize. So I am in the step deck market. Not much of a difference between the flatbed market and the step deck market. There you go. Why finding loads? It's really hard for the box truck owners obviously if you're an independent freight dispatcher watching this a lot of people will be asking your help just because they don't have much load to haul meaning they are invested their hard earned money they buy the equipment now they realize that hey well i'm using the tool which is load board and actually those load boards are not designed for this specific market guys when i say market this is box truck market there's a specific loads to haul and then obviously this is flatbed hotshot market the loads that you put on the trailer is different it can be same but for the most part is different than the box truck so if i will you know give you an example think about like appliances think about furniture for home or for commercial furniture can you put the furniture on this trailer you can you can but you know there will be a tar pain and etc but this is more specific market this is what i'm trying to say when you choose to go to very specific niche market or niche market and obviously the startup cost it dictates going into this business for example buying this truck is very expensive the brand new one is almost two hundred thousand dollars and then let's say for the trailer it's i don't know it's 50 60 to seventy thousand dollars it depends on the specs whereas a box truck you can buy used one they're very cheap and people want to go into this business it's very quick and another thing is that driving this it required commercial driver license whereas box truck they're not required to have cdl so you can drive with your reg regular driver license and i'll be going into detail showing you the tactics when you going into a business meaning very specific niche business which is box truck you need to realize that there should be a specific ways or strategies or tactics to use in order to get loads there's two mainly obviously i don't know if we have anything just specifically related or just focusing on this niche market as far as load board goes i think that we do have some but what i heard is that they're really expensive and people trying to avoid them and then using dat power um something like that but then i do see a lot of people succeeding in this business and i do have a couple of friends of mine they are in the box truck and then i do have a family members they are in richmond virginia they are in the box truck business but they're using totally different technique and they're not using load boards it's like directly getting loads from the shippers or manufacturers or or the distribution centers but today we'll be specifically focusing on a load board and this will work only if you have a box truck or a flatbed hotshot and you'll be using the load board so let's dive in this is what we got from our families and friends and this is what we've been doing as far as research goes we gave to our students and mostly about 90 percent of students getting back to us saying hey this is amazing and we get a lot of loads just using these tactics so we do have this open but let's click edit and then i'll show you something important when it says truck as you can see by default it will be any and for those of you who know this you can just skip maybe you don't want to watch this but please stick with me and i'll be sharing really in detail you know tactics with you so what you need to do is that you need to switch from any to only when you switch this and reason why you're switching this is because you will have more options as you can see with the any you have really limited options and when you click only you will have a lot more options to choose as you can see so when you click sb this is what it means straight box truck and then obviously this is where the technique comes from i don't know the system that they use but it's really strange when we put flatbed hotshot which is this one and then we put flatbed hotshot is fh by just putting this fh it will trigger more loads for straight box truck yes i know it's kind of confusing and doesn't make any sense but we did the research and guys if you do have a dat power 
load board. You just log in and do the exact same thing. And you will realize that when you put flatbed hotshot, you will see more loads pop up for box truck. When you leave flatbed hotshot in just straight box truck, you won't have a lot of loads pop up just when you click search, right? So this is why we have this flatbed hotshot. That is a one trick. So on the origin, this is the another tactic, right? This is very important. As you can see, we have abbreviations for the states. So since we are in the Southeast area, I'm in the Georgia. So you can do this for your region, but we do have these five to six states for the Southeast. We have Alabama, we have Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee. So this is basically an equation. Think about it that way. When you have a straight box truck, you switch from any to only, then you will have these options. You put straight box truck, you put flatbed hotshot, then you put origin D states. Now we kind of cracking the code. Think about that way. If you don't believe me, you can do this on your own with your load board subscription the load board subscription i use is the dat power so if you don't have the dat power there will be a link below this video you can have the 30-day free trial on the destination we tried a lot of states we done the heavy lifting for you guys you don't need to do you just leave them alone just empty for the available obviously we put four days in advance so if you're searching loads for Monday, it just basically will be, let's say, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And again, you can say, Kamal, I'll be searching just for one day or two days. Guys, trust me, you can still do that. But for the purpose of this, in order to work this, this is the code, right? So it should be four days. Guys, this is very important. If you just leave two days, it's not going to work. You will have you know, a couple of loads, but you won't see a lot of loads. So since today, Friday, we put Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Deadhead, we, we don't put anything. And then since we have the destination empty, you can't do anything over here. It's not clickable either, but you just leave empty. Then for box truck owners will say something like, hey, I will be searching for partial load. Some will say both, but I'm in the side who will say both. Just use both, right? It's for full loads and partial loads. For the length, obviously you don't put anything. And again, maybe you're saying I have 26 box truck or I have X, Y, and Z trailer truck or something like that. You just leave empty. And for the weight, and again, you can say I have this specific weight. I can't put loads more than 10,000 pounds or something like that. You can pick and choose the loads, but you just need them just pop up, run in front of you, and then you can choose that. Then the next step in obviously just click search. This is what happened. So by the way, guys, you will see these like green lines, you know, over here. It's just basically I'm using the DAT power. We have the live feed. Live feed meaning whenever the loads post it, you will see them right away. It's a live feed. So brokers posting loads, it will just pop up right in front of you, right? And then another maybe question you guys have is it like, what is this green line? So this is the click to call software that we use. We don't dial, we don't type. We just click and it's automatically ringing. This is how you win the loads from the brokers. So the next thing what I would love to do, and obviously you guys, you, you just see this, um, a lot of loads for box truck and hot shots, right? Then the second thing what I'll do is, as you can see, the rate, I'll just click on rate. It's thinking, it's not that we have the small DAT, it's been like slow for today. When you click on a rate, you will see that there will be from less paying loads to the highest paying loads. But what I need to see is the highest paying loads first, and then you just pick from there. Another thing, if you're really new to DAT power, maybe just starting out, just pay attention to this CS. CS means credit score for the broker. So now we have these loads popped up and if you don't see the rate for this load, obviously you call them. You call them and ask them and you'll be amazed like how much they pay. And if you're one of my students, you guys have the broker's script to use to get best paying loans from the broker. But if not, then obviously you negotiate. You don't take whatever the broker says. Always negotiate. So, and again, this is what I do. I'll just click and then I will see the highest paying load and then I will just click the number and then I'll start talking to a broker and start negotiating. So these are the tactics, guys. Now we have like almost 4,000. It obviously goes out of Florida uh, to California. Pay attention, it's 26 foot load and it's it's about 11,000 pounds. You're talking to a dispatcher when you call broker. And so if they're paying, I don't know, 3,700, ask for 4,500, something like that. So if you are a carrier with semi trucks, 
like big trucks like flatbed or a step deck obviously so with the flatbed hotshot you can use them as a partial so that's it and i hope you guys get value out of this so please make sure to subscribe if you have any questions please guys let me know